हेलो आ नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द कॉम्प्लेक्स इंटीग्रेशन आफ्टर द डिटेल डिस्कशन ऑन द लाइन इंटीग्रल विल बी गोइंग अहेड विद द लाइन इंटीग्रल पार्ट वन विद वेर इन वी आर डिस्कसिंग हियर विद द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो इवेल्युएट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ जेड स्क्वेर प्लस थ्री जेड डी जेड ओवर द कर्व सी अलॉन्ग फर्स्ट द सर्कल मॉड ऑफ जेड इक्व टू टू फ्रॉम टू कॉमा जीरो टू जीरो कॉमा टू in the anti clockwise direction second the straight line from 2,0 to 0,2 and the the third one is a straight lines 2,0 to 2,2 and then from 2,2 to 0,2 so this is what we are we have been given now let us let us see how this this figure will look like for the first first thing here the circle mod of z equals to 2 that means what we have to find out so this is mod of whenever we are talking about a mod of z equals to 2 means it is nothing but mod of z minus a plus ib equals to small r wherein this a comma b is nothing but the center of the circle it's a center of the circle and small r is the radius for this particular circle so what what we are having the cartesian coordinates format or the uh, this one so similarly we do have the the area or you can say the standard equation of a circle in terms of a z or a complex number so it is it has been given to us or in this way so mod of z minus a plus ib equals to r in that way we can just understand that this is nothing but this mod of z equals to 2 gives us 0 comma 0 as the center and 2 as the radius so if you we'll observe here 0 comma 0 is the center for this particular circle and 2 comma 0 0 comma 2 minus 2 comma 0 and 0 comma minus 2 would be the points which are intersecting x and y axis respectively so this is so now if you observe here we have we do have it the first part is the circle mod of z equals to 2 from 2 comma 0 so if i if i'll just take this out i have shaded this particular part portion so if you observe here say for this this curve we are taking is as a c1 curve so what would be the direction because it's an anti clockwise direction this, this that means what the direction of this particular region would be like this we have we do have 2 comma 0 to 0 comma 2 so 2 comma 0 to 0 comma 2 is point a to d now this to reach from this point a to d they have given us three different directions one is on the circle second one is from the straight line like from directly the point a to d and the third one is via point b that means from a to b first and then uh, b to d now this is c1 which we are taking it and then again it is from 2 comma 0 so that means again this is in the direction of this one let us see this as c2 and then this would be from this is c3 and this is also a part of c3 because this this total together gives us one curve first parallel to the y axis then parallel to the x axis would gives us this a to b and then d to b to d let us go ahead and go and find out one one single uh thing here so first one is c is the semicircle mod of z equals to 2 from 2 comma 0 to 0 comma 2 so this is what we were talking about in the last slide so this is the first let us say that this is a c1 curve now if you we'll observe here whenever we are having a circle we have to shift to the polar coordinates or you can say the exponential coordinates so now here when we, we we know that this is if z equals to x plus i y then z equals to given to us r e to the power i theta as a as an exponential form now here z equals to r e to the power i theta but here r is nothing but the radius of the circle which is given to us as 2 so this equation becomes 2 times e to the power i theta what would be the d theta in this case it's nothing but 2 times i times e to the power i theta d theta so the 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 uh, the variable of the integration is shifting from z to theta now as we have to go from 2 to 0 0 to 2 this theta so this at x axis in the beginning at the point this particular point here the theta is equals to 0 and it will reach to the point this point on y axis at this point theta is coming out to be pi by 2 and hence the theta is moving from 0 to pi by 2 so integration z square plus 3 z dz over the curve c1 now we are talking only about the c1 in the right present first case so that would be nothing but c1 is in the mod of z equals to 2 so that is z square plus 3 z 
dz is nothing but is equals to now what we are going to do it we are just going to shift this z as this one that is 2 e to the power i theta so it's z square as 2 2 e to the power i theta the square plus 3z that is 3 into 2 e to the power i theta bracket into the value of dz that means what we have done we have changed this z to 2 e to the power i theta and we have changed this dz or exchanged this z uh, dz as 2i e to the power i theta d theta that is what substitution we have done it here then we have to just find out a simple integration from uh, theta equals to 0 to pi by 2 why what we have done it we have we have shown it here that theta is moving from 0 to pi by 2 because as we are shifting from z to the theta as the variable so here the the variable was z and we have shifted from z to theta so we have to have the limits for theta theta is moving from 0 to pi by 2 and that this particular simple integration will give rise us to this particular value which is equals to this minus 44 by 3 minus 8 by 3 times i this is the value in the first case this is the value of this integral in the first case on the curve the or the, or you can say a circle uh, which lies in the first quadrant okay so its second thing is c is a straight line from 2,0 to 0,2 that means what we have to have this particular curve and you can say that you can see here this c2 is the curve moving from the point 2,0 to 0,2 hence the direction would be given to you directly now we have got 2,0 and 0,2 so we know that there is a one property says that we can find out the equation of a line passing through two different points So the points suppose p x one comma y one, q is x two comma y two are the two points. Then the line passing through these two points is y minus y one upon x minus x one, which is equals to y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. This is also known as the slope. So this this R H S part is also sometimes some books are giving it as a m, and this is known as the slope of the line. Now here in this case we have got the two points say for p is two comma zero, and q as 0 comma 2. So we'll just put put the values over here. Y minus y1 that is 0 upon x minus x1 that is 2 is equals to y2 minus y1. Y2 is 2 minus y1 0 upon x2 minus x1. X2 is in the case is 0 minus this uh, this x1 is giving you this value that is 2. This gives us y upon x minus 2 is equals to this this value give will gives us minus 1 this gives us y is equals to minus x plus 2 that means x plus y is equals to 2 is the equation of this particular line passing through this points 2 comma 0 0 comma 2 so in this way you can find out any any uh, equation uh, equation of any line if you know two points of that particular line so that that's the reason here the equation of a line is x plus y is equals to 2 and that means what y is equals to 2 minus x that means what we have to shift either to x either to y because we have to understand that how how this is moving in the uh, x y plane so we are saying that okay y is equals to 2 2 minus x that gives us dx is equals to minus of dy and therefore dz which is dx plus i dy that becomes dx minus i times dx which is nothing but dx is out 1 minus i times dx now what is the difference between the previous and this question Pre previous case that is first case first case was given to us as a circle that there they have given as a circle where in here it's a straight line in the straight line we do not want to go in a polar form so we have to make a move towards the equation of a line and then we have to move towards x or y so out of this x and y we are just moving ahead with one of them So if you'll observe here, so this is one. So dz is getting replaced as one minus i times dx. Y is getting replaced as two minus x. So therefore, if you'll observe here, in this case, on this particular line, if you if you can check this, x coordinate here is two, and here is x coordinate for this point is zero. That means what x is moving from two to zero, and therefore this particular integral becomes. So every z is getting replaced as. So y, so z, what what we are doing it? As we know that this is z equals to x plus i y. So we are putting that this z square. So that is nothing but z square is x plus i y. The whole square will give rise to x square minus y square plus two i. So this is nothing but the expansion of z square, keeping x z equals to x plus i y. 
then 3 times z will give us 3 times x plus i y dz is getting replaced as 1 minus i times dx that is same as this one and therefore you can just easily check every y we are getting replaced we are replacing y by 2 minus x therefore it is x square minus 2 minus x the whole square plus i into x 2 minus x plus so every y is getting replaced as 2 minus x and then dz or you can say here dx plus i dy is getting replaced as 1 minus i times dx and therefore just by solving this simple integration just you need to expand it and then cancel few terms will be uh, give rise to the next is uh, this is integration from 2 to 0 integration from 2 to 0 minus 2x square plus 8x plus 2 plus i times minus 2x square minus 6x plus 10 equals to 0 that means what again we have separated this particular complex number into two different parts what is that real part plus i times imaginary part and therefore just by simplification just by uh, moving ahead with the integration a simple integration in with respect to x and then putting the upper limit and the lower limit we are going to write going to give you the answer as minus 44 by 3 minus 8 by 3 times i so again we got the same answer as that of the case 1 okay uh, moving ahead with the third one that is c is a straight line from 2 comma 0 to 2 comma 2 and then from 2 comma 2 to 0 comma 2 that means what this is a is 2 comma 0 it is moving 2 comma 0 to 2 2 so that means what this is the curve c3 which is moving from a to b and then it is 2 2 to 0 2 that means it is moving from the point b to d so these are the directions because whenever we are dealing with the line integral directions plays very important role here again this is very simple now if you if we wanted to have it on a b so along the line a b along the line a b that means what it is the the value of this x is not changing than x that means what the equation of the line x is this a b is equals to x is equals to 2 if it is so that means what that there is no change in x that means dx becomes 0. So, we got the dx is equals to 0. If we got dx is equals to 0, dz becomes just i times dy. And therefore, y, the limit of y is moving from, everybody please do check. Here, the, the coefficient of this y, you can check it. It is moving from 0 to 2. And therefore, this y will move from 0 to 2 in the on the line a, b. Let us see what will happen on the line b, d. B D is nothing but y is equals to 2, the equation of a line which is parallel to x axis and it passing through the point 2 comma 0 here. That means 0 comma 2 here, that means it is the equation of a line which is y equals to 2. And therefore, same, if, if y is equals to 2 means there is no change in y, that means dy is equals to 0 and dz becomes here dx. And therefore, if I wanted to have this equation or you, if you wanted to have or understand what should be the limit of x is from b to uh, b to d it is moving from 2 to 0 so therefore it is x is moving from 2 to 0 if we'll put these values here in this so this particular integration c along the uh, line c3 or along the curve c3 is this but what is this c3 is getting divided into two different parts a b and b d which is having x is equals to 2 line y is b d is y equals to 2 line Therefore, this particular integration z square plus 3z again the same thing we have to replace that that z square and 3z in terms of so x plus i y and therefore after simplification we will be gave, giving this particular answer and just, just go through this step these are the very simple steps just by replacing your z is equals to x plus i y and then in the first integration you have to you have to replace x is equals to 2 and that, that means what you know, everywhere wherever there is a x we have to replace x, x by 2 y will remain as it is y and in the second integral there is here that means here you have to replace every y by 2 x will remain as it is and we will have to take the limit of this x take the limit of this y and for the first and the second curve respectively you can go ahead and solve this simple integration you will get minus 44 by 3 minus 8 by 3 times i now Case number 1, case number 2, case number 3. If you observe here, what, if, what we have done it, we have started with the point A, we have, we have reached to the point D. We have taken 3 different paths, C1, C2 and C3. Now that means what, since f of z, 
we have got three all those three cases answer remains the same that means the value of the integral line integral becomes the same here in all the three cases why is that happened because z square plus 3z is an analytic everywhere in this particular region and therefore the values of this given integral are same irrespective of the curve joining the, the two points okay and that's the reason we have got case 1 2 3 same answer Similarly, if the curve is not specified, so suppose we suppose we do not know uh, either on the circle, either on a straight line, then from A to B, then B to D, if it is not specified, we can still find out the final answer by, can be evaluated easily for, uh, as follows and provided the integrand is an analytic function. Because we have got this z square plus 3z as analytic function, that's the reason. Or please, please follow the complex variable topic wherein I have discussed about the what is no, what is the meaning of analytic function. You can check very well here uh, using the CR equations that whether this fun function z square plus 3z is uh, analytic or not. You can just go ahead and check that very well. So this is integration 2 comma 0 to 0 comma 2 f of z dz that is 2 plus i times 0 to 0 plus 2 times i z square plus 3z just just putting that and just giving getting this we are going to get the same answer what we have got it in all these three cases case 1 2 3 all these three cases got the same answer the reason behind that was the function z square plus 3z was given to us as an analytic function. Okay, and this is one of my favorite slide wherein the self-observation slide has been given to you. Uh, again, two questions are given that evaluate of this particular question. Answer has been displayed over here. So, these are the answers I have given you here for the first and second and this is for the first one. If at all any query, please write me in the comment section so that uh, we, uh, so that I can, I can tell you about this and whatever the queries, I can handle those on the comment section. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy learning.